everyone. Good morning. It's Cindy here. Uh, today we're going to be working on our monthly topic for art play through chronic pain. It's another group that I have. Um, this month's topic is we're going to start off the year again with healthy living. And, you know, when I think about healthy living, what's the first thing I think about? I think about food, right? That's not all. Oops, this isn't going to work. That's not all there is to healthy living. There is so much more. Let me see if I can get this unblocked real quick. Watch it. It'll squirt me in the face. <laughs> That's what I was afraid was going to happen is it would squirt me in the face. There we go. Good enough. I'll have to fix that later. Anyways, so yeah. So my first thought again is about food. Uh, whenever anybody ever says to me healthy living, that's what I think about. And you know, you know, that's just not the only thing that there is to healthy living. This is, um, that was a uh, Huey's, Mr. Huey's, and this is called Leather Jacket. I call it orange. And this is a um, Marabou Art Spray. And this one is, I know it's yellow, but I don't see a name for it. So it's yellow. So I just wanted to start adding a little bit of color on this page and we're going to throw some water in. So the first thing we're going to talk about is unhealthy. I think we all know what that is, right? Let's do something. I'm going to do this. Um, you know, unhealthy, we have a lot of things. I've got some pictures here of different unhealthy things we're going to put down first and then uh, we're going to talk about healthy things other than food that we can do. Let me dry this up. Okay, so um, just so you guys know, I did put a piece of masking tape down the middle, and I also had a coat of gesso on this before I started the video. Um, it's still a little bit wet there, but I also went in while I was drying, and I took a baby wipe, as you can see, um, and I went through and I picked up some of the ink so that you have different, I don't know, lights and darks in here. So the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to talk about unhealthy. Okay, so we know those are unhealthy. Let's see, we've got some images here that I'm going to put down. Um, we know that you need to get exercise. You need to, um, you know, couch potatoes aren't good. Junk food is not good. We all know that, right? Um, what else do you think you can do? What are you doing that is unhealthy? If you smoke, if you drink, those definitely are unhealthy. Um, here's candy. Let's see. I got this big old couch potato. I love him. And my printer had a mess up, so he's a little bit bumpy. But we're going to work with it. One thing I have learned, and this is the biggest thing I have learned about chronic pain, is being a couch potato or laying in bed all day every day does not help. The only thing it does is it makes my pain, this is my opinion, it makes my pain worse. So what I have found out is even though it hurts like crazy, I need to get up, I need to get around, I need to walk, I need to, um, you know, do my, my normal household things that I do. Um, and you know, another thing is I don't have to do that every day if I choose not to because I have the support of my husband that, you know, he will help me in any way he can. But the thing is, I have to do it because I need um, to move. I apologize, right back. All right, sorry for the interruption. It was my daddy calling, so I had to chat with him. Um, okay, so where were we? We're gonna talk about unhealthy first. Of course, we know these are unhealthy. Even though we love them, I had such a craving for donuts the other day. It was crazy, I ended up going to the grocery store to find a donut. Um, this is couch potato. I'm not a fan of couch potato. Um, I think he causes more issues than helps issues. And I'm not saying that it's not healthy to rest, but it's not healthy to be there all the time. And that, that's what I'm saying. This Again, this is all my opinion. I am not a therapist. I am not licensed. This is my experience, okay? And then this lovely stuff that's my nemesis right now. I have such a hard time not eating chocolate or candy. I just, I don't know, I got a sweet tooth. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down these unhealthy things. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cover them up with healthy things. 
So we know they're there, and we know they're should not. They are should they are. How do I say that? They are should not. We should not be unhealthy, especially if you're dealing with chronic pain. It's very hard um, when you do the unhealthy or you get you know continue being unhealthy. It doesn't help. It really doesn't help. And I found that out just by trial and practice and. You know, um, I've been a couch potato and, and, you know, the first year when I, after I got hurt, um, if you don't know, my chronic pain is I have a bad back. I've had a couple surgeries on it. Um, and I have permanent nerve damage in my lace. I have fibromyalgia, blah, 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 blah. I could go on, right? But anyways, so I've learned the first year when I very first got hurt, um, I got hurt on my job and... Luckily, I had a witness there with me because, you know, the company I'm working for is just not the greatest. So, um, my peer picked me up off the floor and, and you know, he, I, I messed up my back twice. So, anyways, um, I, the first year, I didn't know what to do. I had no idea. I was a career person. I was in the company that I worked for for 24 years. And I was looking forward to another six years and I was going to retire. So this happened. It happened in an instant. And then it's like, um, let's see, it happened in August. And that January, they told me it was permanent. And I'm like, no, it's not. No, it's not. We got to fix this. I'm going back to work, blah, 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 right? Anyway, so what I have found out during that, that first year is doing this doesn't work. Um... I'm not saying that you can't rest. I'm not saying that, you know, everybody has a couch potato day. I don't care who you are. Um, there are days for that. But to know that I'm going to get up every morning and that's where I'm going, no. I refuse to do that. Yes, I go out in the morning. I hang out for a few minutes because my dog likes to have a little siesta with me every morning. She sleeps on my lap and snores. So we do that. I have no problem with that. But after that, I can't just sit there. I have to get up and get moving. So let me go ahead and dry this up. And we're going to cover this up because this is all the bad stuff, right? So we're going to cover this up. Actually, I'm going to put a few more notes in here. Um, before I do that, let's, let me see if I can do it now before. Okay, another bad thing is go. Oh, I should say not going. Uh, I don't know what I'm writing. Um, to your doctor's appointments. Right? You have to go to... Ooh, I'm all sticky. You have to go to your doctor's appointments. Um, yes, they're going to tell you if they've told you time and time and time again the same thing. But you never know if your body is going to change. You never know if... Maybe he's going to look at you this time and say, you know, something's up here. Let's try this. Let's try that. So even though it does get frustrating, I actually had a second back surgery because I didn't believe my first back surgery surgeon that nothing could be done. So I found a second opinion. Um, he's like, oh, yeah. He says, I can go in and, you know, release some issues, blah, blah, blah. He goes in. He comes back out. And he's like, I'm sorry. There was nothing I could do in there uh really so why'd we why'd we cut me up you know why did you cut me open but anyways um so even though you may get frustrated on listening to the doctors um make sure you go another thing i'm going to write this is not taking your meds now this includes um any health, let's say you've got blood pressure, uh, I don't know, heart disease, um, what else? Um, a lot of pain. They've given you painkillers. If they have, you're kind of lucky because right now I'm, I'm running without painkillers and it gets very difficult. Um, one thing I do have to do is I take ibuprofen um, four times a day. And that kind of keeps some of it at bay so I can, I can um, pretty much survive. All right, what else? Um, trying to think. This is my biggest one. No couch potato. It's not going to write because it's wet. 
Let me think, let me think. You gotta go to the doctors. Um, another thing that's not really healthy is not communicating. Whoops. Let me dry this real quick. You know, I know I hear a lot of people say, oh, well, you know, my spouse doesn't care. They don't understand. You know, um, I can't tell anybody. My family's not supporting me. I hear that a lot, okay? But the first thing I'm going to say is, even though they're not listening right now, just maybe, maybe, just maybe, in the future they'll listen. So the other thing that I consider unhealthy is not communicating. Okay, um, I am very lucky. I have a husband that supports me in any way, shape, or form he can. But if I don't tell him, if I don't let him know this is what I need from you, or um, this is why I'm doing this the way I am, or, um, you know, I'm really grumpy today because if I don't communicate with him, he doesn't know. He's not a mind reader. Your, your significant other is not a mind reader either. So, you know, there's a few things I've told my husband. He's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because he's heard it before. But I have no issue with that. He still understands. So you have to communicate. Um, you have, or I'm sorry, if you're not communicating, it's unhealthy. Here's another thing, is if you are not doing self-care, that is very, very, very unhealthy. Self-care <clears throat> doesn't mean that you have to get up and get in your wonderful beautiful business clothes and do all your makeup and do your hair and you know go to the gym and then go to work that's not all of self-care self-care is when you're in the chronic pain world sometimes the shower is what takes it completely out of you and i can tell you that by experience when i take a shower in the morning it's very difficult to get going the rest of the day because it is zaps my energy so I still do it, but I know now in my routine that I'm going to take a shower and then I'm going to go sit on the couch for probably an hour with my puppy dog while she has her morning siesta and I get to love up on her and I hang out there and play a couple of games on my laptop and then after an hour, I need to get up and get moving. I can't do this. So self-care. Self-care could include not going to the doctors. It could include not communicating. We're going to talk more about that one later. And it also could include not taking your meds. You have to do these things. Is it easy? No. I have never said it's easy being in chronic pain, and I never will. It's difficult. It's very, very hard to do. One of the ways, um, one of the things that I found also is not healthy is not getting outside now when I say getting outside I'm not saying you have to get up and go for a hike you have to get up and go wander around whatever when I find that if I'm starting to lock myself into the house and not go outside my depression gets worse I start feeling grumpy I start feeling a complete lack of energy I don't want to do anything outside will help you at this point I've gotten to the point where normally my husband takes my dog out for a walk well I've been trying to do it do we go far no we pretty much go you know a couple let me say 30 feet 40 feet away and you know she mills around for a bit and we come back and I come back in the house but while I'm out there I actually stand and breathe and focus on the nature listen for the birds Listen for, um, you know, what sounds do you hear? Do you hear the wind going through the trees? Do you hear, you know, do you smell the fresh air? Do you smell fresh cut grass? Do you smell fall in the air? Um, that's what I'm looking for. And that's what helps me with my depression. So I'm trying my best to get out at least one day a month. Or yeah, one day a month. <laughs> 
every one time a day. So that's another thing that's not healthy is being locked inside. Um, another thing that is not healthy is we talked about the donuts and this, and that is eating fast food. You've heard it before. We all know it. That's not something that we should really be doing. Um, are there days when I'm like, you know, I can't do this, you know, let's go get a pizza or, or can you go get a pizza, whatever. Once in a great while is not bad. But if you're doing this every day, there's issues for that. Number one, you're not getting the nutrition that your body needs to be able to fight your chronic pain. This is junk. That's why I call it fast food. It's just, it's not... It's not healthy food for you. Do we all love a Big Mac and french fries every once in a while? Absolutely. But does that mean we eat it every day? No. Um, even if you're not able to eat or to cook a lot of nutritious stuff, there's better things to eat. You can eat cheese. I like to use um, pepper and cheese and crackers. That's one of my favorite go-tos. You know, um, peanut butter and jelly are they great no but if you're having a bad day and you just don't feel like cooking it works um, things like that uh, we have what's called yo-yo nights which is you're on your own they are nights that I'm not gonna cook I just don't feel up to it um, I've left meat in the freezer so it's all frozen I just I'm not in the mood so we call yo-yo which is you're on your own and my husband will make himself you know something little and I'll have bagel and cream cheese or whatever but those are not constantly. Um, let's see, what else? Education. When you have a disease, you're like, where is this going? Why is it unhealthy? If you don't learn as much as you can about whatever situation your body or your mind is going through, that's not healthy because when you learn about it, you also learn how to um, take that time, take those thoughts and realize that, you know, I may be thinking, oh man, I, I just can't do anything. You educate yourself on, on your disease or, and it will give you um, tips of how you can do things or you'll learn um, from other people's experiences that, you know what, maybe I can do it that way. I'm just going to give you an example. Um, when I first got diagnosed with fibromyalgia, I'm like, what is it? So I go on and I start reading about fibromyalgia. And I was completely overwhelmed. I'm thinking, oh my God, if my body does all this, I'm just, it's not cool. So I knew what to expect. Um, I don't have every symptom in the book, thank God. But when I do things like, I'll wake up in the morning with a really bum ankle. It happens to my right ankle. I'll get up, get out of bed. I can't walk on that ankle. No reason. It just happens. But I know that's part of my fibro. And so instead of getting frustrated and saying, oh my God, I can't do this, I can't do that. I've educated myself to know that, okay, if you have an ankle like that, today's going to be a day when you're going to want to put your feet up, you're going to want to relax. Um, stress causes more symptoms or flare-ups than fibromyalgia. Um, let your body listen to what you've educated yourself about and take that time to do what your symptom of your disease is asking you to do. So um, this can also be on mental health as well. Like I said, I do have depression. I've, I've had depression for many, many, many years, over 30 years now. I deal with it. There are days, yeah, I hit that. Now, I can't say days. There's these spurts of time when I will be fine and happy and then things just start closing on me. And I'm learning to recognize those symptoms so that I can say, okay, I know something's up. We need to figure out what's going on with my depression. Let's take a look at it. And then, you know, I can get back out of that space. So educating, um, if you don't educate yourself on what's going on in your body and in your mind, um, it's not healthy, not healthy at all. All right, so that is the bad stuff, right? We're going to cover this up. So now we're going to go on to the good stuff. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this 
apricot. Ugh. Maybe. Oh, boy, that's up there. Ugh. Apricot paint. And we are going to just play. Let's see. I love this Luca paint. I don't know if you've ever used it. Um, I get it at Jerry's Artorama. Um, I'm sure there's other places that sell it. That's where I get it. And I just absolutely love it. So we're going to take this and we're going to get rid of some of this bad stuff, right? Okay. So we're getting rid of the donuts. I mean, they're going to be there. We know, we know all this is back there, right? So couch potato. You know what? We're getting rid of him. This big guy. Because... It's not healthy. We're just going to get rid of his butt. Now I'm not doing this um, perfect because that's not what this is all about. I've decided in my art, number one, I'm not a perfectionist. I never will be. I don't ever plan on being. So I just want the freedom of playing, right? So that's what I'm doing. I'm just playing with this color, seeing what I can do with it, you know, see what it covers up. Am I covering up everything? No, I don't intend to. So, and we're actually going to use more colors on this. Come on. Woo! I think I have enough there. What do you think? Probably enough for 12 pages. That's all right. We're just working on one today. So I hope that made sense. That's the unhealthy stuff. Now we're going to go into the healthy stuff. Get rid of another couch potato. Just kind of cover this icky stuff up, right? We're going to put this over here because we're going to have to use that later. All right. Okay, so we've got our little cover up here. I'm going to dry this very thoroughly because we're actually going to start now um, a journal page with the healthy things that we can do. All right, so see it's not all covered up. We know it's there, but we know it's unhealthy. So let's dry it up. So now what I'm going to do, it's pretty well dry. It's still kind of tacky in places, but that's all right. Ugh. Get my matte medium. All right, we're going to start. <laughs> While I was on the phone with my dad, I started thinking about this a little bit more. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try to get it black and white. So let's try to, oops. I'm going to try to take all of these little black and white papers and see what we can come up with. I don't want it all black and white. There's going to be more color. But for now, why not? And a lot of this is tissue paper. Oops, I don't need that much. Um, that I'm putting down. Maybe some. This I think was a gift wrap, maybe. Yeah, because there's tape on it. This was a gift wrap thing that I paper. Come on. So did that make you think about unhealthy? I hope so. I really hope so because being unhealthy is just not fun. I'm just gonna make sure that this is down real good because I am gonna put more stuff on top of it. So I'm gonna make sure it's down. I know if I slop a ton of mod of uh, matte medium on this, that it's going to take forever to dry. So I'm trying not to do that. Ugh. This is music. Let's make sure we put it right side up. This doesn't really matter, does it? Ooh, this is a big one. This is a Dina, Dina Wakely collage paper. Just, I really love this paper. 
I love the fact that when you put it down, it pretty much, the paper pretty much disappears. Not all the way, but pretty much. Um, I didn't say it on the unhealthy, but this is more healthy, and this is one of my little tips. Um, I am always, pretty much always, listening to music. Um, even right now as I'm creating this, I have my ear pods in, and I have music going. It's just quietly in the background, but um, it's something that also will calm me when I have um, issues with, you know, pain getting overwhelming. I have found that if I just put my music on and just relax, that it'll be all okay. So just a little hint for you. Maybe if, you know, you need that time when you're creating and you just still have those feelings of unease or, you know, just not right into it at that moment, try a little music. All right. I'm going to keep going here and try to stop you up in my mouth. Hold on. Just trying to get stuff down here. I just want to get rid of all that unhealthy. And then once we do this, we're going to go ahead with paint. And then we're going to start healthy stuff. So, sorry this video is going to be so long, guys. But, you know, it is what it is. And I would prefer to talk to you guys through it. I know one of the um, comments that I had a while ago, like last year, <laughs> was... Um, having me talk through videos again and just beware that you know when I do uh, they're gonna be longer videos so and I think with chronic pain I really think we need to talk we need to um, you know get that communication open um, I do have a chronic pain group that is private it's a safe place we don't have anybody critiquing or um, you know, bad vibes in there. So it is called Art Play Through, and it's T H R U Chronic Pain. So if it's something you might be interested in after watching this video, because I do do videos just for the channel, um, you know, pop in. All right. Let me just get a couple more of these tissue papers on here. I don't know what that is. Looks like a lump. All right, we got rid of the lump. There are so many people out there that are dealing with chronic pain in one way or another. And you know, chronic pain doesn't have to be just physical. It doesn't mean that, you know, you've got to have a physical ailment. Um, there are so many mental diseases that are so hard to work through. One being depression, another one being anxiety, um, you know, the panic attacks, that kind of stuff. So it's not just about physical. And also, a lot of those people in the chronic pain, I am one example of that is when you look at me, nothing wrong with me, but you don't feel what's going on inside me. Um, the pain is always there. It doesn't ever go away. It just hangs out. All right, I'm going to leave that for now. I think that's enough black and white. I dug all this stuff while I was chatting with my dad. <laughs> We're going to put it back in the box. All right. Okay, I'm going to dry this. I'm going to try to dry it pretty good because then we're going to go back in. We're going to start with a bright yellow. And, I don't know, maybe this. I've got Arctic and I've got lemon yellow. But let's see. Let me get it dried. Well, we got it pretty well dry. I'm going to start with the Arctic. And what I'm going to do is just pretty much lay a light layer over some of this stuff. I don't want it completely blue because we got to remember those there is unhealthy under there, right? Um, and maybe we can bring our minds to say, oh, that's right, that's under there. I really shouldn't be doing that. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just explaining to you things that I, you know, have found out. Um, I've been at this for eight years now. Uh, this August it'll be nine years. So I've learned a lot, whether it be about what foods hurt me or, um, you know, what just chilling on the couch will do. I can barely walk if I sit on the couch all day, so I try not to do that. 
looks like I'm going to need some more blue. I wish this sprayer wasn't so squeaky. I don't know how to stop it. Let's get a little bit more blue. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to use a little yellow in here. Let's see what this does. I like the way it's looking. It's looking kind of cool, huh? Not my yellow's going to turn a green, but that's okay. Yeah, I like that. I like it. What do you think? Like I said, I'm I'm done playing by any rules. I'm just creating how I feel like creating, and, and I hope you guys enjoy it and will play along. Um, I'm just ready for it to open up and just do whatever I want to do. And that's how I started arting. It looks like there's a hair right there, but there's not. There's actually the line I did on um, one of the things that was bad for us. What do you think? I like it. I really like it. Uh, quick dry, and then we are going to talk about healthy things. Now, I'm not just going to sit here and do out a thing of um, food. That's not happening. So I have all these little goodies here that's going to help us with the healthy. Let me dry her up. So now we're talking about healthy, right? This is still really tacky. This this page is going to take like a month to dry fully. Um, first of all, I don't know what this thing is down here. We're cutting that thing off. I don't know what it is. Um, first thing we're going to do, this is the key, and it's the key to happiness, right? So we're going to put our key there. I said I wasn't going to do all food, but I do have to do a little bit. Okay, this is fruits. We really should be eating more fruit right this is greens carrots radishes I don't know what it's wrapped in a yellow squash so yeah there's more food that we really should be eating and I know a lot of people don't like this um, this is actually baked kale so we're gonna stick that there we're gonna stick it with the veggies all right so we know this is just a representation of we really should be eating healthier and we should um, choose better what we're actually eating. This is something else that I decided would um, make us healthier, not even healthier, but happier. And when you're happier, you are healthier in a certain extent. And what it says is letters never sent. Um, I have found that when I sit down and write out a card and send it to somebody, it gives me that good feeling. It just, you feel good. You know, um, don't expect anything in return. Sometimes you don't hear from anybody. That's not a problem. Don't worry about that. All right. Let's see. Um, I have a couple more here. This one is a big one. Um, I'm not going to get into religion. All I'm showing is this is just a church and the beautiful stained glass in front of the church. And I think this is um, imperative to those people that have this faith and that need to um continue with your church if you can't get there physically everybody's doing it online now um you know you have your materials at home talking about your bible or whatever you happen to use so i think this right here if you don't have this um or if you don't continue in this then your mind your faith your um being may become unhealthy so i'm just this is a healthy thing to do. I'm not promoting religion. I'm just saying. I know there's faith out there. I might stick this right here. So there's the key. Here's another thing. Remember we talked about going for walks? You see that little guy on a mountain? This is actually Yosemite Falls. Um, I cut it out of a magazine. And I really cut it crooked. But you don't have to go mountain hiking to get outside. You can go outside, sit on your back porch. Ten minutes a day. Really, that's that's what it takes. Just go out and smell the freshness and or even open up your windows in your home and just let fresh air in. It's going to help you mentally, mentally um, as well as just give you that that feeling of refreshness. Right. This one we talked about. This little little one is resting. OK, um, 
she's not hanging out he or she I don't know I think it's a she she's not hanging out on the couch this is actually a beach chair she's down at the beach so again don't forget to let your body rest but don't stay there completely because that's not good for your body so here's this gal I don't know, but it's really, really crooked. I don't know what I was thinking when I was cutting this thing. It's probably still crooked, but looks better to me. So here's this. I don't know where I'm going to put this guy. This will look good. This is another one. This is basically, looks like the moon on water. For me, what this represents is the what am I looking for I'm trying to find words hold on um, it represents represents to me a sense of spirit a sense of being one with yourself as well as nature and I really like that so that's kind of what this represents to me everybody well not everybody most people love the beach and they love to go and, and sit and listen to the waves and that kind of thing. I actually don't live far from the beach, but I've only been there a few times. It's not that I don't want to go. It's just I find it really, really noisy. But this is some people's cup of tea, all right? So maybe at night, you know, when you let your animals out for the last time at night or whatever, you're locking up, open up the door and take a look at the moon. And just take a look at the stars and realize that you are part of this universe. You, you, you are a healthy part of this universe, okay? Now, I know I'm going to get the comment, oh, you're so optimistic. I don't feel that way, blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you, I didn't eight years ago either. I wanted to slap somebody if they said this to me. I'd have been like, no. It's just, that's not how I feel. That's not how it's happening. I'm going to start gluing these down. Um, I try to be optimistic because if I don't what's going to happen a my depression is going to write uh, is going to rear its ugly head um, I'm not going to feel good literally feel good in my body uh, it's not going to be healthy for me so I've decided to take this this challenge that I've been given for the rest of my life and crap, I need a new brayer. And um, just make sure I make the best of it, right? When they tell you you're stuck with it, you're stuck with it. What else are you gonna do? You can't change it. You gotta deal with it. So let's deal with it and try to be the happiest we can. Um, there's days when I'll go three, four, five days, and I'm just, I'm just not in the mood. Period. I hurt sometimes the pain gets really overwhelming when that happens I try to read um, I'll lay in bed and you know catch up on a show I might be watching or stuff like that and that's what gets me through those days all right so let's put this key here because this to me these are keys to happiness it's a few of the keys to happiness there's so much more. All right. These are letters. Letters never sent. I, you know, cards. You can use cards. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, if there's nobody you really want to write a letter to, what about writing a letter to yourself and sticking it in a journal? What about, um, you know, writing a letter to your spouse, your significant other? Let them know how much they mean to you. You know, there's, there's always reasons to write letters. All right, so this is our little height picture. I like that height picture. Yosemite Falls. It's beautiful, beautiful there. This little one's resting, doing what their body's telling her to do. And that's take a quick little nap. Speaking of naps, that's something I can never do. I wish I could. I go in and lay down and my eyeballs are like do 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 and my mind doesn't stop. Alright, and then we've got our beach here. I don't like 
that there. Hold on. I don't like it there. No, I don't like it there. Let's stick it here. We got somewhere to write on this anyway, so let's stick it here. Close enough. All right. Come on, get down there. I did this earlier and I ended up pulling some of the background up and that took me a bit to fix, but it happened. All right, we are in for a great big, uh, what do you call it, drying. And then we're gonna write some more things. So think about what you would wanna write on this page. What makes you happy? What do you think is gonna make you healthier in the position that you're in right now? I have another big one um, that I do constantly, but we're gonna be writing some different ideas down on here. So let me dry it and I'll see you in a bit. It's pretty well dry so I can write on it. Um, well, I'm just sitting here playing around with these images because, you know, I like to outline things. I don't know why. To me, it just gives it a more cohesive look. Um, anyways, while we're doing that, what are some of the things that you can think of that would be healthy for you? Um, I know, like I said, choosing the right food, getting outside, um, not sticking on the couch all day, taking baby steps. Sometimes you just have to take those little steps to actually get moving. And, you know, is it going to hurt? Probably. But, you know, you, you have a life. You are still living and breathing. And, you know, you have to enjoy that life somewhat. So I enjoy it through art. And I enjoy it through, um, whoops, I always do that. Hanging out with friends. Um, and I'm not talking about physically. I'm talking about on Zoom or, you know, another, um, what do you call it? recording device or video device so that's you know a big part of my my um, healthiness and that's something we didn't really talk about is social interaction I don't know why I'm just I'm messing this all up but I don't care um, social interaction alright well we've got two things against us one we've got the, co the uh, chronic pain which we know you know sometimes we just can't go do stuff and that's just the way it is and then, of course, COVID decided to rear its ugly head, so we have that on top of it. I have met some really, really cool friends online. And I've done it through art. They're actually artists, the ones that I um, have gotten really close to. And we spend our time, we're, we're helping each other. Some of them also deal with chronic pain. So we're kind of helping each other to get that social interaction in even though we can't stand face to face right so try reaching out I don't know if this is gonna make room this pen reaching out to to people that are like-minded okay whether it be an artist or if you like to crochet you know look up for some crochet groups or knitting or quilling or whatever whatever you happen to be into if you're a bird watcher Look and see what you can find for bird watching groups because when you get in with those like minded people, they understand you. They may not understand your chronic pain, which is fine, um, but it gives you that social outlet to discuss things with people and talk to people. And eventually, maybe you'll join, you know, you'll, you'll create a friendship. So, reaching out to like minded. All right, so that's your social. Um, physical, you know, again, we talked about the doctors. We need to go to the doctors. Um, mental, the mental is, you know, one of the huge, huge benefits of what I use for mental is journaling. And that doesn't mean, um, hi, I woke up at 8 o'clock this morning and I'm going to, um, have coffee and then maybe a bagel and cream cheese for for breakfast and then I think I'm gonna go in my art room blah 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 that's to me that's daily that's like a, a diary type thing to me journaling means I can sit down with my journal and I can write out my frustrations I can write out what I'm happy about I can write out things that I'm grateful for um, 
and I can actually express the feelings that a lot of times people don't want to hear. Okay? Well, guess what? Your journal listens all the time. It doesn't have any judgment. It doesn't have any negativity. It doesn't have anything to contradict what you're saying. So if you need to get those feelings out and somebody's not listening to you, sorry, I'm just getting glue off my top of my desk and spray. Um, if you, you need to say things and they're going around and around and around in your head and you wish you could say something, do it in your journal. Nobody has to look at it. Um, if you're uncomfortable about writing stuff down in a book, write it on a piece of paper. When you're done, tear it up and throw it in the fireplace or throw it in your garbage can or whatever you need to do. But this is huge. Journaling to me is huge. And I can't stress it enough. What else? We've got our food over here. Healthy food. Food. This is faith. That's our key to success. This is our nature. This is our calmness. Oh, I forgot to mu put music in here. Oh, I have music paper right here. So we're just going to music. All right, let's see what else. Um... Did we get everything? Don't forget to go to your doctor. Communicate. Um, get moving. What else can we think of? Um, another thing you... Uh, can do and something that a lot of people have a hard time doing is you have to put you first when it comes to chronic pain mental illness you are no good to anybody else if you yourself is suffering now I'm not saying you know don't talk to anybody until your pain goes away it's not gonna happen but if you need to take that 10 minutes to take a hot bath at night before you go to bed do that if you think, um, you know, it, your friends go out to breakfast every morning and you can't do that, let them know, hey, you know, I'll do this on Wednesdays with you. And then you can prepare for Wednesday, right? So, you first. Kind of hard. Um, it's hard to carve out that time for you. Um, I honestly don't have that issue because at this point, you know, my husband's retired and we just live daily um, but you know you might have that have an issue but get that get that time for yourself you need to be you first one other thing um, that I recommend to be healthy is look every day for one thing that does one thing that you've done that has two results to it one it makes you happy and two, you can find gratitude in it. So you're looking for, for happy and gratitude. All right. I think that about covers it. I am not going to, I was thinking about doing some other stuff on this background, but I don't think I'm going to. I like it the way it is. So I'm going to leave it the way it is. All right, if you're interested, like I said, I do have a channel, Art Play Through, T-H-R-U, Chronic Pain. Um, you have to request to join. Um, and again, it's a no-nonsense group. We support everybody. There's no nastiness. There's no, you know, um, being mean to people. That's just not what it's about. It's to be there to so support people, support each other while we go through this journey. There's also... Um, we ask questions. Um, someone may ask, how do you get through this? And a lot of us will answer and say, well, you know, this is my experience. This is what I did. It's a support group. We're there to support each other and to actually um, just help. Help. That's what we're here for, right? All right. So thank you guys so much. Um, I will be seeing you again. 
and talk to you later. Bye.